explosion killed 11 men, and Americans watched millions of gallons of oil gush into the Gulf of Mexico. BP and five coastal states today announced an historic agreement. This morning at simultaneous news conferences, state officials called it a major achievement. Today's settlement is a game changer for Louisiana, its communities, and its families. BP will pay $18.7 billion to the federal government and the five Gulf Coast states for economic and environmental losses, as well as penalties for federal Clean Water Act violations. The payout is 54% more than BP's profits last year and will be distributed over the next 18 years. That's nearly $215 million for each of the 87 days oil gushed into the Gulf of Mexico. This agreement also settles claims with 400 local communities, but an especially hard hit Plaquemines Parish in Louisiana, local politicians say the deal is not enough. What we're doing is making sure that the future generations in Plaquemines Parish are being justly compensated. At P&J Oyster Company in New Orleans, a 139-year-old institution, today only enough oysters for two shuckers on the line. This is what it looked like before the impact of the oil spill. Who would have thought five years ago we wouldn't have oysters enough to sell to provide to the customers that we had? You know, who would have thought that the public oyster grounds east of the Mississippi River would be non-productive to this day? BP officials said today that this agreement will pay a significant amount of money for the restoration of natural resources. This agreement, this settlement, is in addition to the estimated $10 billion settlement being paid to individuals for their losses, like the oystermen that own these boats over my shoulder here. Lester? All right, Kerry Sanders, thank you.